I heard it was blood clots and shit. I'm I'm old. And we might need to get nine one one over there. So. My bad. Let let me tell you. <laughs> you see, let me tell you why I must. I love the universe, and I am a firm believer of the universe. Okay. Listen, I wanted to get on and talk to you for a very long time. Is that right? That's very right. What we got? So I want to know what you got to, you know, let's let's have this real talk. Let's have this real talk. Um, Because I know a lot of times when people will speak to you, they, it's like they trying to be funny. Mm-hmm. And and I feel and I feel like if a, if you if you call somebody trying to be funny, yes, I think I feel if you try if you call somebody trying to be funny, then don't be mad at what you get. If you right. call somebody if you call somebody that you know and you're really trying to you know sincerely ask questions or get information or or chat, then that's different. So I want to talk to you. Okay, what are we talking about? Well, what what do you rate me? <laughs> Is that what we're starting off with? Yeah. Do you think the women? Do you think the men rate women? No, I thought because isn't that what you do? <laughs> it's. What have you seen in my content? Have you seen? Have you just seen like the clips? Yeah. I, well, I think I always see people calling you. And they and then you and you tell them you ain't no such and such. You lying to yourself. You ain't this. You well, know, what, I, so I, what I typically don't do is I don't typically rate people. I ask oh. if they rate themselves. I usually oh, okay. ask these questions. So let's start it that way. Yeah. Right, how tall are you? I'm five three. Dress size. My dress size. Then the dot said left. Um, my dress size. That's a good question. Um, I guess a four. All right. And on a scale from one to ten, you can't use seven. What would you rank yourself? Fresh race out of the shower, just you. Yeah. That's how I always ask the question. Seven. Can't use seven. That's why seven is the most common answer. Really? It's a default answer for most people because they don't want to go too high, they don't want to go too low. Um, well, no, um, it ain't a default answer for me. Well, I would, let's see. I would give you a nine. Okay. I would give you a nine because you have the facial symmetry and you get additional points for eyes. Full lips. See, it, it's not. A, it's, I'm an actual image consultant. And oh. it, I mean, I'm sure you you deal with a lot of people who take your pictures and stuff and so forth. You have a symmetrical face, and so it's much more based upon facial symmetry. It's not based on European beauty standards or anything like that. It's much more based upon what babies, animals, human beings have evolved to find attractive. Wow. You get and you get additional points because. We have evolved to find more slanted eyes, some are attractive, especially when they're not on Asian. Wow, wow. But that, 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 that's, not what gets, that's not what gets translated. Most of the time, people take my clips and cut it down to something that's gonna make a viral moment, it's gonna start a conversation. Take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything else that I did? I saw one time when you checked this lady for, I think, I guess it was a white lady or a Hispanic lady, and you was like, oh, you're not going to come on this show and talk down on black women. That's what the fuck you're not going to do. Yeah. And so, again, that was a clip. I didn't, I didn't see the context, really, but... Well, I get a, I get a rap of hating black women. Uh, and it's far from that. I mean, there are over 50 black women who report that they've gotten married as a result of watching my content in Really? It's on my it's on my Instagram. I actually had a young sister uh, just post up saying, "Hey, as a result of you, I snatched the ring." I just actually posted a brother who was about to move to the Dominican Republic, and he found his wife in my Facebook group. Like twelve couples have gotten married in there, but that stuff doesn't get publicized. Mm. But when I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about 
men and women, but because I'm black, I'm talking about us. Mm-hmm. And from time to time, I would bring stuff in, and then a lot of times sisters would say, well, men, when they get to a certain level, they only want white women or this or that. Um, so I, I, I let women from other races come in. I'm like, okay, well, if, can you learn anything from them? What, what would you teach them? And the one woman came in, and she thought she was going to do what I did to black women. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hold on. Oh, wait, wait. Now, I, we can talk this way, but Karen, you sit your ass down over there. Because I don't play that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't let, you know, d- despite popular opinion, I love my mother, I love my daughter. But we do have to have a, a family conversation. And it's what's starting to happen more is actually we're starting to have more conversations about this. It ain't comfortable, but uh, we're starting to see progress. Well, let me ask you this just outright then. Why, why do successful black men date outside of their race? Um, well, I would say this. When I look at men, I look at, I split them up. Guys that I consider to be in the industry, music, entertainment, athletics, and then guys on the business side. Okay. Business side, because I come from that side. But uh, more often than not, black men want to be with black women. Mm. We do marry, 85% of black men are married to black women. Oh. When, okay. I, when I had my guy, guys come to me, even after they got themselves together, like Dennis Furling, the guy who just moved, he found his black wife in my group. Black men, want to, we want to be with them. The problem is, let's be honest, in my lifetime, we weren't really raised to learn how to get along with one another. We can kick it, we can hook up, and we can, but can we work together long term? And uh, uh, I mean, you're married now, right? Okay, marriage is relationship is a skill set. It's different than dating in short term. We really want to talk that kind of stuff. And what successful people who are doing good in their professional life want to fail in their personal life? And in the black community, in particular, when we fail in our personal lives, we pay a huge penalty because so few of us get married. It's almost like we like to see people's marriages fall, but we need more of those things in order to build whatever we're going to be because um, they, people may not, like, may not like my method, but I want to see more black men who want black wives get with black women. And that's the outcome we're getting. It ain't pretty. Though. Sometimes it ain't pretty. Can I say something? Can I say something real quick? Black women, can y'all, can y'all, can we? Can we stop stop talking about if these niggas want us or not? Excuse me, Kevin. This is not. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to black women real, real quick. Can we stop talk? Can we stop posting all day on TikTok? Because I I re, I newly went to TikTok and I and I just kept seeing this. Mm-hmm. Black women, can we stop talking about if black men, if these successful black men want us or not? Mm-hmm. Like, can we just? focus on us and we be successful and then we go out there and we decide who the fuck we want because what i've been seeing is i feel like i've been seeing men using that as an opportunity because they they've been hurt and and somebody done went symptoms and they've been using it as a as a way to come out and lash out and poke fun at black women and use it as a way to feel like they somebody or they something or so so for all you niggas that's doing that on tiktok wherever the fuck y'all at Eat a dick, go away. Nobody gives a shit about you. And I want black women to stop fucking posting about whether or not y'all, y'all, y'all want black women or not. Okay. Well, I want black women just to focus on themselves, be successful, and then you go out there and you decide the trajectory of your life. Okay. Well, here's and here's the thing. There's a lot of hurt on both sides. And a lot of, and especially in the black community, we don't really do a lot with counseling therapy. Uh, I, I recommend therapy often uh, because we got a lot of stuff individually that we want to deal with. And marriage and relationships are not for everybody. And I'm just trying to, ultimately I ask people, what do you want? What do you want? And what are you prepared to do to get what you want? And are you willing to pay that cost? It's really the conversation, but it always gets kind of whittled down. But at the end of the day, 
what we are seeing is, you know, especially if you're under 30, it, it's harder for guys to date under 30 than it was from 50 years ago because you can't take care of a family on a high school or, or just coming out. So they're at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and I, rec I just had men's week. And I recommend, I told guys, look, while you're under 30, work, recognize, work on getting yourself together because like it or not, you're really not in a position like, like you should be to be able to work with, lead, do anything like that. Um, and you see the hate, not the hate, but the hurt on both sides because a lot of times people will use these talking points to go at and poke women over here. But that's not what's going on right now. This year, we're, we're past the sound. I mean, we still laugh. We still, we still do all that stuff. We're talking about self-awareness um, and, and moving the needle. I'm being in L.A. tomorrow talking with uh, a, a famous sexologist, a womanist, feminist, to talk about things that I may not, that people on my side may not understand to further open the conversation up. Because that's what we have to get to. We got to end up, for whoever want to be involved with whoever, we got to end up having a better conversation because while we're separate, fighting, everybody else just eats off of us. That's really what that looks like. So, but, uh, Okay, Kevin, so since, we get, so since we get, no, we got we to gotta, we gotta get down to the business chat. Go now, ahead. Now, do you think a man can 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 um have sex three times a night for his for the rest of his life. Mm, those guys can't. They can't. <laughs> Not for the rest of his life, no. Well, how many times they gonna be able to do it? It's how much he's working. <laughs> it's how much he's working. That's why I say it's different. On... But but wait, um, no, listen, no, 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 listen, hold on. How many times should a man expect to have uh, sex? What is, in your opinion, how many times should a woman give their man sex a week? A week? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the as often as he wants it. <laughs> no, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> because here's the thing, it's under, here's the thing. You look at, like I said, I look at guys, most guys I'm talking to are working 10, 12 hour days. Bernie Mac said, I'm gonna come home and give you 50 strokes. You count them if you ain't got, if you ain't got time. <laughs> most dudes trying to walk around like they porn stars. Look here, man, get good at four play, eat some pussy and, and get on. Because you ain't got, we don't have all that time. You get old, our back hurt, our hips out. Oh no. But when you get older, but you, I mean, I think, I think a happy sex life Two to three times a week is what most people are doing because they got kids. Yes, no, I, I understand. But when you're single, no yeah. kids, whenever you want to. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> She's like, I don't know about that one. No, I understand because, yes, things change when you have to be looking at your baby and, you know, a lot of, you know, I get it. I totally get it. But um, let me ask you something. Do men really want, because I was having this discussion <laughs> two days ago. Do men really want a woman to be all up under them? Uh, like, all, like, oh, baby, hi, hi, yeah, ooh, son. Or do they just say they want that, and when they want that, they, and when they get it, they be like, because I feel like me being mean is what, <laughs> yeah. Patrice, the late, great Patrice O'Neill said it the best. We want you around, but not around. He made a comedy <laughs> bit where he said, we want you in the house, kind of like around the corner in the vent somewhere. We kind of want you to be like a cat. You call a cat's name, hey, babe. OK, you're there, cool. We just want to know you're in touching distance. <laughs> it's really always because we, we really can't. And I feel, I feel like I'm like a man. I feel like I'm, you know, a lot of people throughout my life would tell me that I'm like a man. Because I remember, I remember people would tell me I shouldn't want to, I shouldn't expect as a woman to have a climax every time I do it, right? Like Hilton. And I said, excuse me, are you out of your fucking mind? Why wouldn't I want to climax every time I have intercourse? Just like you want to climax when you have intercourse. And I was I was accused of being like a man. Not in my, you know, I'm this is years ago. 
And I knew that wasn't going to work, child. Because uh -uh, it's not only about you. Well, you think the, about that. Well, well. So when I go to LA, LA I'll be talking to sexologists. Uh, you know, Shambu Dream, Shambu. Um, there's a lot that men don't understand about sexuality. Most guys, you ask them what the Kama Sutra is, they don't know what it is. They don't know anything about it. tantric sex. They don't even know that. You couldn't even show them the anatomy of a vagina and they can understand parts. Just weren't taught. So, and, you know, uh, if you know what you're doing, yeah, you suppose. Yes, you should have as much orgasm. You should. You're, you're multi-orgasmic. You can have more than we can. That's right. So the point is that I think that's, that was part of the purpose of going down there to have this conversation because women's sexuality is so misunderstood by men. Mm. So a lot of guys make comments about women in not knowing, and they make decisions based on women. And I say ultimately this, if you ain't getting married, what the fuck you care about a woman's body count and who she fucking with? If you ain't going to take ownership of it, and if it's yours, you need to learn what to do. Because, mm. uh, yeah. Well, if I was a man, I would still care about who a woman is fucking. Just, it just... Safety. Safety. As long as it's clean. I'm talking about, there are guys who worry about things. That, here's the thing. There's ownership and then there's dating. A lot of, we do a lot to disqualify one another. Um, and we got enough stuff already disqualifying us. Oh, people. right, right. To put women down. Yeah, I mean, or, to, or, to, or to discount men, too. And I'm like, well, in the context of a relationship, it's different than people who would out be just hooking up. Um, mm -hmm. If you're going to have, if you're going to just be out here hooking up, you need to be, I, I would assume you would want to have a good sexual rep a reputation. Who want to be a dead lay or a weak pup? That's not, a um, good, that's not a good look. No. <laughs> people are like, I'm so lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not lost. No, I'm talking I'm about people lost. in the oh, I want to put it on, I want to put it on a person. I don't give a shit. Well, uh, yeah, I've seen the videos. I heard, what, the, what, was, what were you talking about? The blood, what is a blood, what is that? Blood clots? <laughs> I'm serious, I know, what is that? No, it's just, a, it's just a term that my family, my Jamaican people who I love very much, it's just a, a curse word that they use. Like, with a blood clot, you do it. Post the wall. You understand? So that. All right, I've heard that before. I'm like, I don't know if it's a curse word or what. All right, cool. But uh, good to be on here with you. You got any other questions? Because I got to get packed. to finish talking to my people but i want to tell you that i appreciate you joining me tonight um and and i don't want to i don't want to and to everybody that's wanting me to um to to dis this gentleman or anything i'm not do, going to do anything because i don't have proper information and i don't do shit to get attention or to get clicks or to, i mean to do no clown shit if when if i hear something and i understand the context and kevin and i wants to talk then we'll talk but i'm not just here to diss nobody so Kevin, if I say some shit you don't like, feel free to talk about it. I will. I will. Yes, you okay. will. Kevin, we're gonna, we gonna have to have you on Queen Radio in a, in a month or two, okay? Let's do it. All right. Take Bye. care.